Hey, what's going on guys? Kyle Miller here once again from K Miller Films and today I'm going to talk to you about where and how I make my videos. So recently the Sivas actually issued out a little bit of a challenge to share your home studio and that's what exactly what I'm going to do today. I'm going to show you how I get into the creative process and hopefully give you some input on how you can improve your creative workflow as well. So without further ado, let's just get right into So this is the studio and basically I like to go over really how this whole thing began well actually my brother very recently moved out and um, basically I had this whole room and uh, I requested to use it as a studio as I needed my own creative space and that's exactly what I did I just like to really quickly mention these paintings um, these are very important to me I'm not a great painter by any means but um, it's just something that I enjoy to do a lot, and I like to put myself uh, around places that are comforting to me. As you can see, that's San Francisco uh, there as well. Um, and, you know, just little things that are just kind of comforting to someone who gets stressed out a lot by a lot of different work flows, etc. And it's a nice thing to have, and it's definitely like a a side thing and as we all know the most important thing about a room is the closet so in the closet here uh, I just have where I keep you know a lot of different gear I have a backpack and shoes and whatnot this is actually going to be built out into a uh, well a, a, a shelving unit um, you know microwave uh, fridge in there as well as the painting equipment Let's bring it right over. Uh, I have a key light here. Uh, this is what I just used for that opening little intro thing. I typically have key lights, you know, in various areas around the room. And this is my audio setup. Of course, I have the Blue Yeti microphone, USB. I have a mixer here in case I need it. And uh, this is what I use to do a little tune, drop a little, drop a little bass, my friend. Um, and of course that is hooked up to this PC. This is the secondary PC that I had a long time ago. And uh, this thing you can actually create videos of course and music on. Uh, it's not great, it's not fast, but um, you know, it's it works. It's like a $200 PC, probably half that price now. I bought it a long time ago, but it works for things like podcasting and making music. Here I like to keep my gimbal. You know, it's just kind of nice, but often I'm bringing that back and forth, putting it in my backpack and just having to uh, use it. But for now, I like to keep it right there. And this is really the, the meat of it all. This is the main desk PC. Um, and this is where all the editing happens. This is where all the important stuff goes on. Um, I got the PC down there, I guess. I'll put the specs on the screen. I don't know if you really care about that. Um, and, you know, this is where I edit. I always like to keep the desk clean. I'm a very, uh, at least nowadays, I'm a very clean and tidy person on that level just because uh, it's easier to edit. It's easier to stay focused. Uh, just some Oculus uh, sensors right there, not too important. Of course, a nice couch, always good to have. Um, you can get these at Goodwill, I swear, for like 10 bucks, like it's it's nothing. And then, you know, a uke. A lot of nice things that keep me company during the day. Got some old cameras and lenses uh, from, I guess, I guess my ancestors um, is probably a good way to put it. Um, just, you know, um, passed down from generations old cameras and some new cameras and lenses, etc. This is where I keep some props from um, my short films, such as uh, Ballad of a Digital Man, Cheese, and uh, Brain Freeze. Uh, there's actually a couple missing, but that's okay. And, uh, you know, just hold some sentimental value, some records and whatnot, another prop, and uh, well, I guess that's it. I don't, uh, it's, it's very clean, you know what I mean? It's very clean, it's easy to do stuff. Got the lighting, and it's just, the whole thing is made to be efficient. It's not fancy, it's, it's effective. Last thing, guys, I just wanted to remind you that all of this stuff, don't let it discourage you. It's mostly for my enjoyment and just making the creative process a little bit faster. But in, these days, in all honesty, with some nice lighting, like you can make really good-looking professional videos on, on like old phones. 
like pretty old phones like I I have an iPhone 6 and that looks pretty good with some nice lighting so never let anything interrupt your creative process because there's really no excuse that's all I had to say you know uh, keep creating keep making videos and uh, keep organized all right see you guys